Okay, so this is your activity one and plate ones. Uh, it's a convenience store. So, ano yung uh, kailangan natin gawin for your convenience store? But siya nahati, pinaghiwalay ko lang yung pinaha research and the plate itself. Uh, but it's just one project. So, uh, ano ba yung design problem natin? So, our design problem is. Um, the commercial spaces are located on the lower floor of a condominium building. Kamukha nito, nung sample pictures natin. So, uh, there's an upper floor kung saan nakalagay yung mga residential units sa isang condominium. So, it's ideal to convert uh, the two commercial spaces into a convenience store. Kasi since it will be open for 24 hours a day uh, and it will be catering the residents doon sa taas ng building. So, kung makikita nyo, uh, usually set, the usual set of a, of a condominium, merong mga uh, commercial spaces sa baba. It's either restaurants or yun nga, uh, effective to have a convenience store, lalo na kung medyo malayo sila sa mall. Um, since it is located on the lower floor and has access on the exterior of the building, it can also be open to non-residents of the building. So, hindi lang siya exclusive for those who are living sa condominium. Meron lang, as isa, ang access niya is sa exterior pa rin noong ating uh, structure. Uh, I have experience kasi living sa isang condominium before and napakahirap na walang convenience store. Ang katabi namin is sa SM pa. Dumalapit lang siya, tatawid lang kami. But uh, malayo kasi yung condominium, yung pinaka-building namin. So, kailangan na bitbitin na all that stuff that we need. And imagine if we just need a water, uh, kailangan pa namin pumunta dun sa mismong uh, mall para lang makabili ng tubig. Compare kung meron sanang convenience store within the area. So, ano ba yung uh, convenience stores? It's a shop uh, which provides a wide range of products for the convenience of the immediate community it is located. So, nandyan lahat. Food, you have your um, uh, essentials, your bat needs, lahat ng uh, pag, yung kailangan sa paglalaba, lahat ng kakailanganin mo para mabuhay. Nandyan sa isang uh, store na maliit, na congested, parang pinalit siyang grocery. So, since it is located on a residential condominium building, it is uh, main customers are families. So, let's keep in mind the family ang i-cater natin aside from those na nan nasa labas. So, hindi lang siguro familiar, probably uh, work working people, andyan din yung mga nag uh, students. Okay. So, ano ba yung convenience store? Konting discussion lang. So, in the Philippines, a convenience store is a, a one-stop shop which caters food, be uh, beverages, personal essentials, and other needs ng community. So, ang pinakakilala sa atin is yung mini stop. We have the 7-Eleven, yung Family Mart, we have Lawson Station. Usually, we see convenience stores hindi lang sa mga... Uh, uh, sa, sa atin, sa bawat kanto, we have that malapit sa mga schools, um, even sa along highway, uh, um, katabi ng mga gasoline stations. So, it, we can consider this as a smaller uh, grocery store. Uh, convenience nga for the convenience of the users. Uh, if they suddenly need something, naandyan yung convenience store to cater them. So, ano ba yung consideration when we are going to design a uh, convenience store? So, First is you make sure the items are zoned properly. So, para mas madaling mahanap ng customers natin. Remember, hindi siya katulad ng grocery na malaki. Ang convenience store usually has two to three uh, staff only. So, this staff, um, hindi nila mababantayan lahat yan. So, mas maganda is mas easy flow na yung uh, si customer. Um, since uh, congested din siya, dapat ang pagkakaposition ninyo nung inyong mga shelves eh may clear view yung mga um, staff so that hindi natin maiiwasan yung mga shoplifters. And usually, um, cashiers are near the doorway. So for the reason na yun nga, it adds protection kasi nga kitang-kita sila sa labas and mostly convenience stores are full of glass. And also, it will alert the cashier for the incoming and outgoing customers. So, kasi kung, kung nasa dulo siya, hindi niya alam na limas na pala yung harap niya or ang dami niya na palang customer, nagkakagulo na pala. So, at mas maganda na nandoon. Kasi usually, aside from one to two staff, 
o oh, kung natitipid si convenience store, minsan si cashier lang yung nandoon. Ah, uh, yun. So, another consideration consideration sa mga convenience store kasi there's an area for self-service um, kung saan yung mismong, dahil nga konti lang yung staff, yung mismong namimili, sila yung kukuha ng pagkain nila, di ba? Uh, siguro nakapunta naman na kayo ng convenience store. And uh, kamukha ng 7-Eleven, di ba? Pagkakain ka ng hotdog sandwich na minsan pag nalaglag mo, binabalik mo pa. Uh, there's uh, yung kakuha ng cup noodles, sila mag, ikaw na maglalagay ng water mo. So yun, dapat yun is located na malapit pa rin doon sa cashier kasi pag kailangan ng assistance, or kailangan hindi marunong mag-microwave ko niya rin si customer madaling matulungan ni staff or ni cashier yung customer natin so make sure items that will be placed on racks and coolers will not be uh, a hindrance on the passageway kasi nga maliit lang siya siguraduhin natin na baka may kumukuha ng ice cream tapos hindi makakadaan yung isang customer dahil uh, naka merong pang kumukuha ng food so make sure na yung madalas mabili or madalas kunin, eh hindi siya magiging hadlang dun sa mga umiikot. So, locate the food that complement each other um, adjacent. So, magkakatabi yung kunyari, if you were going to sell coffee, make sure na malapit dun yung creamer or malapit dun yung mga pastries kasi combination sila. Or if you're going to uh, to, to sell beer, you need to put, to, to locate the ice near kasi yun ang complimenting nila. And then the chips. So, para masarap ang inuman. Um, and make sure that the most popular items ay karaniwan nasa gitna so that the other items na nakasale o hindi masyadong mabenta, eh, makikita muna ni customer bago sila mamili. So, locate the trash cans visible from the di dining area para si customer alam niya na agad na pagka kumain siya doon, it's a self-service. Ikaw din ang magtatapon. Kasi minsan parang feeling nila sa restaurant sila na kailangan may magliligpit para sa kanila. So, dapat makita nila agad na merong malapit na trash can. So, for activity 1, ito yung pinaka-research natin. So, ang requirement natin is uh, I would like it to have to be on an, on an A4 size paper, paper pero since nga marami sigurong hindi magkakaroon ng chance na mamili ng paper nila, uh, any paper will do. Ano yung kailangan nyo? Your bubble diagram and matrix diagram. First year pa lang kayo, gawang-gawa nyo na to. So, hindi ko na-explain kung ano si bubble and matrix diagram. Space identification with description of zones and spaces. So, you should identify your spaces based doon sa mga binanggit natin. You should know how to zone muna. Zone your spaces. Ma'am, convenience store lang yan. Do I really need to zone it? Yes, kasi may iba-iba siyang uh, hindi lang naman siya food, may iba't ibang binebenta. So, dapat we will check kung paano nyo isozone yung lahat ng binebenta ni convenience store nang hindi magiging malit, nakakalito for the uh, customers. And then, user identification with description of users. So, isisingit natin, sino-sino ba sa tingin nyo ang magiging customer natin or magiging clients natin? Users, aside from the customer, sino pa? Uh, and the staff. So, sino-sino yung kailangan nyo. So, that's the activity. Now, what is the plate number one? Ito yung floor plan. So, floor plan pa lang muna yung hinihingi ko. Actually, madali nga na yung pinapagawa ko sa inyo eh. Convenience store pa lang. Pero magkayong mag-alala uh, before the, this semester ends. Pahirap to ng pahirap. Okay. So, our requirements natin on A4 size or any paper again you need to, to produce a detailed floor plan based on sa bubble and matrix diagram nyo. Easy lang, di ba? Fully rendered, syempre, with call-outs, labels, dimensions. Tapos, uh, syempre, kailangan natin description ng flow ng floor plan. So, describe your floor plan. Pwede sa separate paper, uh, pwede rin siyang magkadugtong. So, yun, that's plate number one. So, Ang deadline natin nito would be sa Google Classroom, September 29. So, yus, um, paano kung hindi makakapag-submit agad? Basta reasonable ang dahil ang inyong uh, katanggap-tanggap yung reasons nyo kung ba't di kayo makakapagpa sa pagbibigyan ko kayo since pandemic naman. Pero since kasi sa survey, uh, lahat kayo ay may makaka-access ni Google Classroom. So, nagtataka ako dun sa result na bakit 
pero hindi kayo makakasubmit ng weekly din or on daily basis. Um, pero tingnan natin, kung talagang marami hindi makakapag-submit, um, we will reconsider their late plates naman. So that's for your plate and activity one.